Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 31st, 2022. Well, Friday, we had a nice little relief rally beginning with some energetic bulls right at the end of the day. And honestly, that surprised me just a little bit heading into the weekend. But I, I believe it was probably an awful lot of short covering rather than um, actual buying going on into the weekend. But we certainly had a nice little pop here in the Dow. Unfortunately, that pop really didn't resolve any of the technical problems. Notice that we ended up closing below the 50 day moving average. We still have significant price resistance in the chart to deal with. So unfortunately, it didn't really resolve those technical issues that we see here in the chart, but it was a nice little bounce to try and relieve some of that pressure that we've been experiencing most of January here. So let's take a look at these charts. Once again, I want to point out the significant levels of price resistance in the chart that we're going to have to deal with if we can get that that bit of a relief rally going. So if we can push up and get up through that 200 day moving average, then we're going to start to challenge some of these resistance levels in the chart. And please keep in mind, we still have a very significant downtrend in place. So somewhere along this area, if we were to rally into these resistance areas, we could certainly find those bears lining up to defend those areas. We also want to keep in mind here on our technical patterns, still Still below the 200 day moving average, our shorter term moving averages are crossing down, have crossed down through the 50 day, and that 50 day is declining rather rapidly to the downside. So we'll want to watch that as we move these 50 and 200 day averages closer and closer together. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY has a similar situation to deal with here. Notice that we close the day just below that 50 day or 200 day moving average, and we still have a lot of price resistance in this chart that we need to work through to see whether or not we can really get a sustained reef relief rally to come along. Also keep in mind those shorter term averages here, as you can see, crossing down through the 50 day moving average, that 50 day moving average turning south, and we have that significant downtrend. So we'll want to be watching these areas along that downtrend area to see whether or not those bears are willing to fight back and be a little bit feisty um, as they have been this month. Let's take a look at the QQ. Q. Now, QQQ, boy, this has got some work to do. Um, as you can see, we ended up closing the day, even though we had a nice little relief on Friday, closing the day below the 200 day moving average. That 200 day moving average has started to flatten. Notice the 50 day moving average moving down rather sharply. And we have a very significant level of price resistance right here to try and deal with before we even get up there to challenge that 200 day moving average. So we've got a lot of work here on the NASDAQ to do. We are certainly in a short-term oversold condition and we are overdue for a bit of a relief rally. But I got to tell you, with all the uncertainty coming this week in data, well, it may be a little bit challenging still. Keep in mind, as we push back up, these resistance levels are going to be pretty tough for the market to push through. And this downtrend is still in play here that we're going to have to work on. As a matter of fact, a rally back to the 200 could certainly engage right in here and then see some more selling in the market. So stay on your toes this week. Let's take a look at the Russell. The poor Russell is just one sick puppy. As you can see, um, 50 crossing down through the 200 sharply, the 200 day starting to turn and roll over to the downside. We pushed all the way down here to the 500 day moving average before we got any kind of really um, relief um, on that selling on Friday. And keep in mind, we're not looking so good here this morning. A little bit of bearishness showing up here this morning. So this is extremely oversold and I don't know which would be the trend in here to maybe follow, but we've got a lot of work to do to repair this in the Russell. And let's keep in mind that where we set right now, we don't have a whole lot of price support in the chart except for that 500 day moving average. So it is certainly a possibility that the Russell could continue to slide 
coming all the way down in here. That would be the big level of price support in the Russell. Um, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. And if we can get some rally, notice we got a little bit of price resistance here and a whole lot of price resistance here to try and recover from. So a lot of work needs to be done here in IWM. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, although we had a nice little rally um, on Friday in the VIX and it was really energetic the last hour of the day, notice that our uh, VIX is still holding up relatively high and we have um, some price resistance uh, or price support, I should say, in this chart that could stop us from moving on lower. I would really like to see us pushing on down maybe um, at least to engage that little upside trend, maybe push down into these 20 handle areas of the chart to relieve some of this wild volatility in the market. But I just can't at this point say that we're out of the woods here, particularly with the data we have coming our way this week. Could still be very, very volatile, very, very challenging uh, price action in this market. So watch that closely. Nice to see that relief coming in. We are overdue for it. We could use a whole lot more of it, but still holding up here in that 27, 28 handle area of the VIX suggests that it could be challenging price action for at least the day ahead. Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. Now T2122 struggled and struggled and struggled all day, but then finally, Finally, we cut that relief up out of here um, on that chart, trying to push us back up. And you can see coming up out of this bottom has been relatively interesting to see whether or not we can push on through um, to that chart. I apologize here, guys. Let me, um, I need to fix this and re reset set this just a little bit. I have been running this on a incorrect, uh, chart. So you guys are probably not catching the full picture. But you can see right here, um, T2122 struggled coming up out of this bottom, pushing up here finally at the end of the day. Now what that tells us here is that we still have plenty of room if we can get that relief rally going. If those bulls can stay inspired, we have plenty of upside room to try and push us through to that top side. So keep a close eye on that. We might have that opportunity to continue Continue to move but oh my goodness there's a lot of work yet here to do let's go ahead and take a look at our t2108 t2108 had a little bit of relief here these are the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average but notice that we didn't get a big move so we had we had that big relief rally at the end of the day and this is what really leads me to believe that it was a lot of short covering rather than actual stock buying that created that relief rally so take a look right in here only about 20 percent of our stocks above their 40-day moving average that means we have a lot of work to do if we're going to continue any kind of bullish relief in the market. And then T2107, um, very much the same situation as you can see here in T2107, pushing up in that chart at the end of the day, but notice that we're pushing in from a new low area in T2107. We are very oversold, but notice just barely 26% of the stocks holding above their 200-day moving average. Once again, I think that was a little bit of clue that there was a bit of short covering on Friday rather than actual buying. Not a lot of energy moving those up. Last but not least, T2101 um, spiked up here and then right at the end of the day turned just a little bit lower as we saw that little bit of relief rally coming in. But let's keep in mind, we've really moved through some resistance levels in the chart and we might want to watch this um, T2101 to see if it catches some of any of these levels as support and more selling coming into the market. We want to see that dip back down. We want to see a relaxation in the market. With the data we have coming this week, um, that might be a little bit of a big ask. Let's take a look at that data for the week. And if I pull this chart over here, this is the um, economic calendar. And as you can see today, we're going to get a reading from the Chicago PMI. And that's about the biggest part of today that um, could experience a little volatility. Notice there's, uh, we've got some Fed speakers in there um, yakking away. So um, that's, of course, always going to be of interest. 
Um, but then we really kick over into some heavy data this week. Notice we're going to get two inflationary numbers, one right after another on Tuesday. We're going to have PMI and ISM numbers, and along with that, construction spending and the job openings report. We're going to follow that up on Wednesday with uh, those uh, mortgage applications and ADP numbers coming out, as well as the petroleum status report on Wednesday. We're going to roll that right in on in to claims and you can see productivity and claims, PMI composite, factory orders, ISM index. Oh my goodness, we have a full plate this week of data that certainly could move us around. And then at the end of the week, the big guy of the week is going to be that employment situation report. And I see the government is already coming out warning that Omicron uh, spike um, likely impacted that number. So keep a close eye on that. A lot of reason for the market to be moving around quite a little bit. Um, let's take a look at those earnings um, today. We have just short of 70 companies reporting earnings today. And if you want to catch the full list of the notables, if you go back and click the um, link just below the title of the video, that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that um, catch all of those notables that I've listed in the blog this morning. Um, this week, it really begins to ramp up. I think by Thursday, we could have um, 200, 250 stocks reporting. And let's keep in mind, we've got Google and Amazon this week. So we've got a lot of earnings data coming our way. Let's take a look at some of the notables for today. We've got uh, CBT that we'll be reporting. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, AGNC is Oops, got a type right. AGNC will be reporting today. Watch that. We're going to have um, NXPI reporting today. TTM is on that list today. WWD is also on that list for today. So a few things to move us around. They're not the kind of stocks that move us a tremendous amount, but they um, certainly are notable for today. So let's take a quick look here at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time that you've seen these videos, um, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these uh, videos. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful, if you can, please continue to click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. I know it's a pain, but it really does help support the effort here of putting these videos out every day. And I truly, truly appreciate it. And thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. Um, I will be back on the stick answering those um, responses today. I got a little bit wound up Friday with a couple things and didn't get a chance to do that. So I will be back on that today. Also, guys, if you feel like this video is worthy, if you could please um, click that share button, say, um, share it out there on your social feed. And you can also support this content if you're not a member of Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options and would like to support this content. Just click that link below the title of the video to buy me a coffee. And I utilize that money for some upgrades here to the channel, which by the way, there will be some changes coming here soon. Let's take a look at some stock setting up. And remember guys, these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to be very, very careful, particularly in the volatility of this market, to protect yourself in these trades. Let's take a look at a couple of these charts. Um, Take a look at VMW. VMW, pretty nice looking chart. This is a pattern that we call the rounded bottom breakout. The rounded bottom breakout is a very good pattern for trading. You see we had a nice little pop there on Friday pushing this up. So you can see we're up above that 50 day moving average. Notice we've got some resistance and a gap above to potentially fill in that chart up toward that 200 day moving average. So watch that right in here, VMW looking good. Nice little upside trend, breaking some resistance there on Friday with a nice pop 
don't be too surprised if this has to rest a little bit more back into that support and trend before it takes off. But if it does, well, then we have that opportunity that we can push up into these resistance areas in the chart and then maybe even push through into that gap. Keep an eye on VMW. Now you guys know I've been mentioning the defensive sector stocks here for quite a while and defensive sector we saw that uh, amazing rotation into those defensive sector stocks before the sell-off in the market. It was one of those warnings that um, institutions were making a move here. And if you take a look at Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola had some volatility selling off with the market pushing back. But notice right in here, pretty nice hold on Friday pushing this back up. Now, certainly we still have resistance in this chart that we're going to have to deal with to move on through, but I do think it might be worth watching this chart, particularly if it rests in here a couple more days before it gets moving. There might be a nice upside opportunity in that chart. I think it would be also, um, why is to kind of keep an eye on Mondelez? Now Mondelez got sold off into the volatility. It got past its earnings report and notice that we had a nice bounce back rally here on Friday. So keep an eye on that. This is still not out of the woods. It's got some work to do here, but Mondelez is trying to come around. Um, another one that I thought performed extremely well on Friday was General Mills. Now this is a very old, boring company to be trading and I get that but holding in here nicely, running in a nice upside trend, as you can see for some time, this is that rotation that I kept talking about from the institutions, picking up some dividend paying stocks. So watch that closely here in GIS, looking pretty good overall. Now there are quite a few other areas that are showing some strength, but the majority of that strength really is coming in energy sector. If we take a look at XLE, energy has been unbelievably strong. And I believe as long as Russia continues to rattle those sabers over there and potentially um, invading the U Ukraine, that's gonna give support to that oil sector here a bit. So keep a close eye on it. There's quite a few stocks in this um, energy sector looking good. Take a look at like um, Devon, uh, Devon Energy moving in, holding some support in here after breaking out. I think that's worth keeping an eye on. CVX has been really strong, but finally got a little bit of selling on its earnings report, pulling back here just a little tiny bit. But notice what you're seeing is we're just pulling back into that trend. So watch for that next opportunity to the upside. Now a place that you might want to start watching for a short, let's take a look at the financials here. Those financials have been struggling this quarter um, on those earnings report. And notice that we dropped here pretty hard. That drop pushed us down below that 200 or 50 day moving average. We had this relief rally in here, this recent rally to push us back up toward that 50 day but it's not exactly an overly confident move here to the upside. So we run that risk, that possibility of a failure pattern. Notice pushing down, rally back up to that 50, and this could potentially be a lower high failure at that 50 day moving average. And that we call that a blue ice failure here in the market. So keep an eye on that. We also have this downtrend right in here, providing that little extra level of price resistance on on those financials and there are some sick ones out there take a look at Goldman Sachs uh, GS oh my goodness this has been a very very sick stock and notice on that rally back Friday not exactly impressive 50 crossing down through the 200 there's a lot of work here for Goldman Sachs to kind of come back around so I, I think it would be worth keeping an eye on that chart um, other places that you might look is in in some of the oil exploration or refining. Um, take a look at Valero Energy. Now Valero has held up really well. Notice holding above their moving 50 and 200 day moving averages. This was a nice rally back. Holding up here and maybe trying to challenge this big resistance area in the chart. If that can break out of that, we might see um, buyers really start to pick up in there, pushing it up and maybe attacking some of these highs up here around 101, um, 110 
area in that chart that would be a nice move in Valero so keep an eye on that if it can actually challenge this and break through that resistance to the upside so with that guys I'm gonna leave you um, this morning and I want to say thanks so much for everyone being here hope these uh, hope these videos are helpful for, for you and thank you so much to those who continue to support the channel um, with those thumbs up and, and leaving comments. I, I do truly, truly appreciate it. Y'all take care. Have a great day. Stay really careful with all of the data coming out this week. We can't rule out the possibility of more whipsaws and overnight reversals with all this data. So stay on your toes, trade wisely, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great one, everyone.